Welcome in, welcome in, you guys. Welcome back. Alrighty, we're going to be doing some Hesse math with some conversions. Okay, we're going to just continue where we left off. So if you know anybody that's taken the Hesse test, please share this live with them. Alrighty, so we have 20 degrees Celsius. We're trying to figure out how many, um, how much is that in Fahrenheit? So what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula up here and we're going to do F equals, okay, it says 1.8. Then it has parentheses. And since this is our 20, oh, you're so welcome. We're going to put 20 in place of C. Okay, close it up and then do plus 32. And then you do get to use a basic calculator, okay? So we're gonna do 1.8 times 20. So we would get 36 plus 32. So we're gonna add 32 and we get 68 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? So that's going, what we just practiced is going from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now they could ask you the backwards right the fahrenheit to celsius so let's do that on the next page all right welcome in you guys thank you for all the follows thank you thank you thank you summer you have a wonderful day as well so it says convert the following temperatures from fahrenheit to celsius okay and you got the answer Okay, okay, so we're going to use this formula here, okay? So the formula that we're using is up here. This is something you have to have memorized because they do not give it to you on the HESI test. So we want to convert 68 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we're going to start with C, okay? Equals, it has a parenthesis, so we're going to put a parenthesis. The Fahrenheit... They told us that Fahrenheit here was, in this case, 68. So we're going to put 68. Then we're following the formula. So we're going to do minus 32, parenthesis, divide by, and if you look here, it says 1.8, divided by 1.8. So in order of operations, hey, warrior, warrior said 36. All right, so let's see if we get it right. So... Ooh, so you're subtracting this for me. Thank you, warrior. So 68 minus 32 does give us 36. And then we will divide this by 1.8. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think because like, really, you guys, I struggled with math so much. Like, especially in high school, it's like never clicked. And then I got to college and then I had this beautiful professor who explained it like it was like that was it so I understand the struggle of not understanding and being able to break it down so thank you thank you good I'm glad you love math me too <laughs> so number two it says 50 degrees Fahrenheit okay so hopefully that helped the person um that did it was confused Hopefully you understand like how we, where we plugged in, what we're using, okay? If not, ask a question, okay? So I can maybe um, help. So number two, what do you guys, so what's the first thing we're going to write? Can you guys put it in the chat? How would I plug in this to the comment? Okay, I understand math when it's easy to read. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How did you do? Somebody said, hey, more math. Okay, so more math is in the house. More math is an excellent, excellent um, math teacher as well. Please go follow her. If you need any help, she is the bomb at explaining it. Um, totally, like, be teaching me some stuff I forgot from middle school. So um, please go check her out, okay? Because... A lot of this is like proportions, ratios, and that's straight middle school, okay? So, all right. So, good. So, we said 50 minus 32. So, 50 minus 32 is going to be 22. And we're going to divide that by 1.8. 
So you would put that in the calculator. 22 divided by 1.8. And we would get... Let me make sure I did this. Let me make, let me make sure because you know, the later it gets, my math starts to get funny. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I was like, this does not look right. So let's change this to 18. Yes, let's change 50 minus 32 is 18, not 22. Okay, I'm doing some bogus math right there. And then 18 divided by 1.8 is 10. So it is 10 degrees Celsius. Yes, 10. Good. Yes, this part. Ooh, almost, oh, I almost played myself. <laughs> Good. Perfect, perfect. All right, so 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. We now, if you were here from the beginning, you guys, okay, if you were here from the beginning, you would see, I think we did that right here. So we just did, we went from 37.5 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's actually see if we get this number, okay? Let's actually see. So we're gonna plug this in to our formula. So we're gonna do C equals parenthesis 99.5 minus 32. And then we're gonna divide that by 1.8. Okay, so 99.5 minus 32 and we get 67.5 we're going to divide that by 1.8 Divide that by 1.8 and we get 37.5 there it goes oh thank you i'll have a wonderful week as well yep 36 i got 37.5 degrees celsius mm-hmm um, so somebody said what grade math this is, um, to be honest, I think this is like more like science cause I don't, I don't do it in high school. I know that. So I don't know if it's a middle school thing or elementary, but, um, I know for sure they do science and this is in science temperatures and stuff. Okay. So now, okay. This is where it starts to get a little this is where it starts to get a little bit higher, okay? Oh, so somebody said, what's the HESI test for? It's anybody that um, wants to do like dental um, assistant, like anything with the medical field. Some people are doing like reception, uh, what is it called? Respiratory therapy, therapist or assistant, um, but pretty much nursing. Yep, some nursing programs call it healthcare. Pretty, thank you, you guys, because I know I was murdering it. Hey, Milk, thank you so much for the roses. Ooh, so somebody said 1400 for the first one. Okay, you always start with your giving. So 1.4L, okay? Now, I want the L, I want the leaders to cancel. So I'm gonna cancel out my leaders. Thank you, King, for the rose. And then I'm gonna do ML on top. Well, there's one leader to a thousand milliliters so what we can do is we're gonna do 1.4 times a thousand okay so 1.4 times a thousand sue can you do to um grade 12 math what class is that so yep if you got okay 1400 because the L's cancel out and you're left with, you're 100% correct. 1,400 or 1,400, okay? Dosage for nursing is what we use this for. Yep. Um. Yes. Good. Yes. Dosage calculations. When you give in drugs and um, medicine, I should, I should say drug, but it is drug. But you're giving medication, this plays pivotal in that. Yep, dimension analysis, yes. All right, so let's go here. So did anybody have any questions on this one? Another trick, let's just say your calculator went out and you like, you can't use no calculator. One method that you learn, well, this is what my chemistry teacher taught me, is whenever you're timesing by a thousand, you move the decimal to the right three spaces. So I would take this, and I will move it one, 
two, three. You move it however many zeros you have in the number. And then every hump that doesn't have a number, you put a zero. And so that's how that's another way you can do it without that. Oh, good. So hopefully you prepare for your chemistry exam and you got it. Good. Yep. So you don't so if you know this trick, you don't really need a calculator. Putting it into the calculator will take more time than just actually doing it. And remember, this is a time test. So, okay, so let's go here. So we have 4.5 milligrams equals to micrograms. Okay, let's talk about it. Ooh, let's talk about it. So, I hope I don't do this run. Um, there is... For one milligram, I believe there's 10 micrograms. Okay, let me get my conversion. I got to make sure I'm telling y'all right, not sending you guys off. But I believe it is 10 micrograms to a milligram. They're like a tenth from each other. We're, we are doing conversions. That's what we're doing right now, okay? So welcome, welcome. So wrong, somebody said wrong. No, a thousand is the conversion chart allowed on the test? No, it's not allowed on the test. So that's that's the problem. Okay, so it some people are saying it's a thousand. I thought it was a hundred or ten. Let me get my because I don't wanna are you guys a hundred percent? Are you guys a hundred percent on this one? Okay, this is what we're going to do because I don't want to send nobody off. So we're going to skip this one and I got to make sure I'm telling you guys the right conversion because this is milligram and this is micro. So these it's not a thousand into one milli. They're not that far away. Yes, that that is another this this somebody said this UG. This is another way of saying it, but some people write it like this too. Okay, Sharon, I'm trusting you. So Sharon said, oh, a thousand milligrams equals, a thousand milligrams equals one milligram. Mm, okay, we're just going to skip this one. All right, let's go to number three, okay? We'll come back to this one. I'll do a video on this once I look up the conversion, okay? So 6.5 liters, okay? Remember, you put on the bottom what you want to cancel. We want liters to cancel, so there is one liter for a thousand milliliters. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so I put laughing out loud. I'm not going to send nobody off. So uh, uh, that's why I said, let's come back to this one. Okay. <laughs> so we have 6.5 times a thousand. Oh, Ashley said she just did a test on this. Okay, one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. I am an R, and you are cor you are in for this one. Is this this is a thousand for the for the pickles person? Okay, okay, I did not. Okay, I got an R in in here. Tell. I'm going to trust y'all. Okay. Y'all, I'm trusting you guys. So we're saying one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. Okay. So now we're going to multiply 4.5 times a thousand. Let's do our little trick. So we move it. How many zeros do we have? Three. So we're going to move it over. One, two, three. Every time it has a hump, we put a zero and a zero. And so our answer is 4,500 micrograms thank you okay i'm trusting you guys you guys are teaching me it's i mean thank you thank you <laughs> somebody said this is a sign laughing out loud i'm put, i'm supposed to study and look at this i love it good okay i'm getting a lot of corrects corrects i love it you guys this is why i love tiktok because i love talking back and forth with you guys we working on the math together so thank you okay thank you so now let's go here. Ooh, uniquely. Good luck. Good luck. 
I'll be sending all the prayers up next Friday. You got this. So 6.5 times 1,000. Okay, let's do our little trick. So 6.5, move it over three. One, two, three. Once you start to get the pattern, you guys, you know just put add two more zeros. Okay, so it's 6,500 milliliters. Okay, 6,500 milliliters. All right, what do you guys think this one is? 600 milligrams to grams. What do you guys think? Oh, Yummy said, do you have to divide for that? One gram equals a thousand milligrams. That is correct. So let's always set it up. So you start with what's given. So you do 600 milligrams. Okay. Now there's a thousand milligrams by one gram. So when you ask me, do we have to divide that by that? Yes, you are a hundred percent on point. So milligrams divide by milli so the milligrams cancel out and you're going to do six because this is one you're going to do 600 divided by a thousand and remember we can cancel out zero zero so really we have six divided by ten sue said 0 0.6 i love it yes it is 0 0.6 okay uh, when you look at this Think about like your, um, you know how you were in high school and like if you got a 6 out of 10, it was a 60%. If you got a 7 out of 10, it's a 0 0.7, 7, 70%, 80%, 90%. So that's how you can look at this. 6 over 10 um, is just 0.6. Okay. Wonderful, you guys. Good, good, good. All right. Let's. So now we know this. This got to be memorized too. They do not give you this on the HESI test. These these conversions must be memorized. Okay. So make that connection. Yes. Okay. So let's go. Oops. Let's go here. Okay. Let's do a couple of more of these. Okay. Let's do a couple of more. That's what we're working on: is conversions, conversions, conversions. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, D. Okay. So, 1,600 milliliters equals how many liters? So, what do you guys say for number one? Thank you for all the follows. Hey, Fern. Uniquely said 1.6. Okay, okay. Sue said 1.6, question mark. D said 1.6. Ooh, you guys are all getting 1.6. I love it. So we're going to do 1,600 milliliters. Start with what you're given. You look here to see what has to go on the bottom. So milliliters is down here. Liters is up here. The 1,000 always goes with the M, okay? So 1,000 is to milliliters is one liter these milliliters cancel and then i go straight across so 1600 over a thousand okay cancel cancel so 16 divided by 10 you guys said it 1.6 liters perfect good good okay we on fire tonight Let's look at number two. Let's look at number two. Okay, so we got 0 0.8 grams, and we want to know how many milligrams are in this grams. Okay, somebody said 2018 milligrams, 180 milligrams. Thank you, D, for the rose. Oh, good. Somebody said they have this on their homework. Good, get it. let's do it together. 180, 180, 18. Okay. So we're going to do 0.18 okay, grams. Now, I'm going to ask you guys the questions. Does Do I put the grams up here or the grams at the so top or bottom? Can I see it in the chat? 
Is the grams going in the top or bottom? What do you guys say? Top or bottom? Bottom, 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 bottom. Love it. Good. It has to go on the bottom because if we started with it on the top, the grams has to go on the bottom because we need it to cancel out. And then what we want to end up with goes on the top. So where do, okay, now I have a question. Where does the thousand go? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Let's see it in the chat. Where does the thousand go? Top or bottom? Okay, and said top, top. Ooh, we got bottom, top, top, bottom. Ooh, we got all over the place on this one. Thank you, Shonda, for the roses. Okay, so remember, the M is what to, that's to, to help you where the thousand goes. When you see the M, it's the thousand up here. So DB, I do do statistics, but only high school level, not college, okay? Because I just helped my uncle through his statistics class, and I was like, <laughs> ooh, I haven't done this in a long time. So, oh, good. Uniquely said um, she can help with, or he or she can help with stats. So, beautiful. Good. Somebody said they took it in college. Good. So, a 1,000 times this. Remember? So, we're going to have this 0.18, and we're going to move it three spaces. One, two, three. Three. I have no number here, so I put a zero. So if you said 180, fire, 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 fire. Love it. Perfect. Good. So the, the, the so you were right kind of with the 18. You just forgot the one zero that you have to move over, that you have to add, okay? All right, let's do number three. So we have 5.2 grams. Okay, here we go again. This is the hard part. Where does the G go? At the top or on the bottom? At the top or on the bottom? Top or bottom? Let's see it in the chat. Bottom, bottom. Perfect. Bottom. Yes, all bottoms this time. Wonderful. And then we're going to put the kilograms on top now this is the question where does the thousand go bottom or top where does the thousand go okay you uniquely said top 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 or on top perfect so you know how we say like the m is a signal for the thousand you can think of this as the same with this k Kilo means a thousand. Yes, yes, yes. Uniquely said it. One thousand kilo means a thousand. So, you know, have you guys ever seen those movies where they're like, oh, you got a kilo? You know, it's like those drug movies I'm talking about. But <laughs> that's what they mean, okay? It's a thousand, okay? <laughs> yeah, I got a kilo or I got a, you know, like I've been watching um Tuscalus, Tuscal, what is it? Tuscaloosa King? Oh, that's my new show. Have you guys seen it? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh, it's okay. Okay, Sub said I'm doing this wrong. King of, T yeah, King of Toulouse. That's what it is. Yes, Toulouse King. I thought it was Toulouse King. Yes, that show is bomb. I kind of like it. Oh, thank you, Stormy. You know, somebody said, why don't we use the KHDK? Is it a thousand grams in one kilogram? Y'all, I'm just, oh, tonight, oh, please. I'm just sending people off. Is it a thousand in one? Let me look at my, let me, I need my book. That's what I need. For all the units, I never remember. So it's a thousand grams in one kilo. That's right. That's that that that's that's right. So one kilo equals a thousand grams. Okay. So one kilo equals a thousand grams. Because they say a kilo. If you got a kilo, you got a thousand grams. It's something in the movies like that. <laughs> all right. So. Here, we're going to do 
5.2 over 1,000, okay? And then we're going to move this decimal how many spaces? How many spaces? You count the zeros and you move it over 3. One. Since we're dividing, we have to go to the left, okay? So 1, 2, 3. And we put a zero. And then we're going to have fill in those humps with zeros. So our answer is 0 0.0052. And this is what makes conversions hard. Because there's like a thousand, like, okay, I just know. A thousand goes with Milo. But then when you start to cross over, like somebody was saying that K, can you guys put it in the chat again? The K, H, I think there's a D, it's like a chart. And if you can memorize this chart, it really helps. But I've always, the only time I learned this is when I was taking chemistry, when I thought I was going to be a nurse. Yeah, thank you. So K, H, D, B, oh. Wait, hold on. Oh, King Harry died by drinking chocolate milk. Oh, I love it. Okay. I never heard that before. Oh, so more math said she learned it in chemistry too. Yes. This is the only place I've learned it. All of my math, like all the ooh, crazy math we did, or I'm assuming, yeah. We um i they didn't do this in math. I only learned it in chemistry. So King Henry died from drinking chocolate milk. Love it. Okay, so let's look at this one, you guys. So we got four kilos, okay? Four kilograms equals to how many grams? So based off of this conversion, we're going to take four kilograms, okay? Now I got a question. Where does the kilograms go? Somebody said 4,000 grams. Okay, 4,000. Callie said 4,000. Demi said 4,000. So is it top or bottom? Good. Dice said bottom. Thank you, Snow, for the roses. Life said bottom. Bottom, bottom. Perfect. Because we want these to cancel. What we want at the end is just grams. So we have one kilo to 1,000 grams. This cancels, this cancels. Four times a thousand equals four thousand grams. Right on, you guys. You guys are you guys teaching me tonight, okay? <laughs> Wonderful. So we got four thousand. Perfect. All right, now this is what I for sure have. I have this unit analysis right here because I don't have time to play about it, okay? This is what you must have memorized the easiest way to remember one tablespoon equals 15 um, milliliters well for me is um if i have kids and i'm giving them some medicine oh let's let me show you what i'm talking about okay because if you could actually put it into play so at this time of the year if you got kids you stay with this stuff in the house, okay? <laughs> ah, and it always comes with a little cup like this. So, you can, like my mom back in the day would give me just one tablespoon. Like, you know how you fill up the table and say, drink this on the, at the table? But this is really, this is why all this one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters. This is why it comes into play. Okay, because you start to look at the age, children 6 to 12, they have to have 10 milliliters every four hours. Yes, I do say this. I do post these lives on my YouTube channel, okay, if they ever download, but that's another topic. But yes, so this is where when we start to get into dosage calculation, this is why this is very important, you guys, to have memorized, okay? So I just wanted to show you. So we're going to convert 45 milliliters to ounces. All right. So we have 45 milliliters. Okay, let's go here. We have milliliters on top. They must go on the bottom. 
Okay, and then we're gonna end off with ounces. Okay, now we have here, there's one ounce equals 30 milliliters. So one ounce equals 30 milliliters. Milliliters cancel and we multiply straight across. So 45 divided by 30. Well, five goes into this and five goes into this. So I know this could be nine, um, six. And then both of these go into three, but you guys do get to use the calculator. So I keep on forgetting. This is not the ASVAB. ASVAB don't get no calculator, but you guys do. So we would just put this in the calculator. 45 divided by 30, 1.5. Mm -hmm. So we would get 1.5. Which, which, if we would have divided this by three, okay, we would have got, divided this by three, we would have had three, six divided by two. So three divided by two is 1.5, okay? So it just all depends. You could still do it without a calculator, okay? All right. Yes, ASVAB is, to me, it's much harder because you don't get to use a calculator. But, you know, it just all depends. But you, but for this test, you have a lot of conversions to memorize. Uh, for the ASVAB, you do too, though. So let's look at number two. So we have three and a half ounces. How many milliliters? So I'm going to let you guys try this. So Ty said 100 milliliters. Okay, somebody got 100. A hundred, Juicy said a hundred, 105. Okay, we got a new number, 105. Ooh, we getting a lot of 105. So as soon as you see this half, what I would do is change it to a decimal. So I would write this as 3.5 ounces. Okay. And then from this conversion, right, I want, I'm because I want them to cancel and milliliters on top. We have one ounce and 30 milliliters. Ounces cancel and then we will multiply. So 30 times 3.5 would be 105. Perfect. Yes. So we would get 105 milliliters. Wonderful, wonderful. So it, really you're doing 30 times 3.5, okay? That's how you're doing this, okay? So let's look at number three. Can everybody take a second? Can you guys double tap your screen? Can we make it to 5,000 likes, please? Thank you, thank you for the support. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you, thank you. I see those hearts coming in. Okay, so for number three, we got, somebody said, O said 0 0.06, all said 0 0.060, mm, okay. So we have 60 grams, okay, draw this conversion. We got grams down here, we want grams to cancel, and we got kilograms. Hey, Sal. Yes, um, the Hesse. The Hesse and um, T's test, um, they are kind of similar. I'm sorry, you guys. That's my babies. Um, but I feel like I'm trying to think which one do I think is a little bit harder. I feel like the T's is a little bit harder than the Hesse, at least for me. Um, when I look at the word problems that they have. Yeah, the T's. Does it, has anybody taken the Hesse or the T's? Yeah, that somebody said the T's is harder. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I would say it's harder. So now we're going to multiply across and do 60 over 1000. Like when I when I'm um when I cuz I do I tutor for both. So um uh, but I always feel like the T's test when we're preparing for that it's just a little bit step up. Yeah. Oh, Kendra, you never heard of them? Yep. So if you're going into any medical field, 
nursing, some nurses and dental high dental pe- dental assistant, respiratory therapist. Oh good. Somebody said I've never taken the HESI. What is it? Yeah, it's for the medical. I forgot what it stands for, but it's like it's for a medical field. Okay, so where did the thousand come from? This is a conversion. So it's one kilo equals a thousand grams. And you have to have this memorized, okay? So this cancels. So six divided by a hundred. So after every whole number, there's an imaginary decimal. So we need to move it over one, two, because we have two zeros. So we will put a, z a zero right here and our answer will be point zero six kilograms. And that will be our answer. So if you got 0 0.06, 100% right on. All right, here goes this micro. <laughs> here goes this micro run. Now that we know the conversion, okay? We're going to start with what's given. 0 0.736 milligrams. All right, where does my milligrams go? Top or bottom top or bottom why did the zeros cancel oh the this in this case whenever you have zero divided by zero they can't well no, 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 no let me let me go back so if you do 60 divided by a thousand right um i just learned in like elementary like these you can always cancel a zero over zero but here this would be 60 you have imaginary decimal and then you would move it over three spaces so you go one two three and wherever you have a hump that doesn't have a number you put a zero so that's why somebody said it would be zero point point zero six zero but you never put the zero after it it's like just zero point six but that's that is why like you can always just cancel out Okay. When you have the same number on top as the same number on bottom, they cancel out. Okay. So now we're going to do bottom like you guys were saying. Perfect. And then we have micro. So we have one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. Okay. Now that we know that, 100% on. So now we can, we're multiplying by a thousand so when we multiply our decimal goes to the what do you guys say left or right what is where does where's my decimal moving when i multiply by a thousand is it left or right thank you somebody put it in there health education systems inc thank you thank you for saving me okay go ahead can you close my door baby Thank you, son. Right, right. Perfect. So we're going to go right. One, two, three. Three spaces. So one, two, three. And so really, we. so some people write this. But this, this zero means nothing. It only matters if there's a decimal. So you can get rid of this. And really, it's seven, three, six. Okay. Seven three six. Yes. Red girl. Yes. Seven three six. Perfect. Good. Okay. All right. Let's see what other conversions. Okay. So now we're actually going to get into like what the HESI test would look like. Okay. Because it's all multiple choice. All right. Um, I forgot, like, I have a book that breaks down like the time, the questions and all that, but, um, I don't have it on this one. So let's start with number one. How many grams in 450 milligrams? A, B, C, or D? Janelle, no, the HESI is not the same as the GED. No, nope. the GED is way, um, it's harder than, well, it just all depends. But yeah, the GED covers like geometry and all this. Um, the HESI just covers algebra, you, um, conversions, decimals, uh, more middle school. It's kind of the same as the T's, but for, for sure, the T's is a little bit harder. So somebody said B. 
Okay, let's see. So we have 450 milligrams. And we want milligrams on the bottom to cancel. So we're going to end with grams. How many gram how many milligrams are there in a gram? No. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Daddy. Thank you. Does anybody know? A thousand. Perfect. Yes. A thousand milligrams into one gram. So we're gonna do four five zero divided by a thousand. Now we can cancel out, and really we're doing 45 divided by 100. So there's a decimal. When you divide, you go to the left, and you move it over two spaces. So our answer is going to be 0.45, which is V. Fantastic. Oh, that you love dimension analysis? I didn't really get into it until I had chemistry. So, yes. Um, but cool. So, number two, convert 250 milliliters to liters. What do you guys say? Um, no, high set is equivalent to the GED, where HESI is more for nurses, the medical field. Mm -hmm. How do you know it's a, a thousand kilograms? In, in a gram no it's 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 backwards it's one kilo equals a thousand grams okay so yep that's backwards oh i never heard of the um ca cassis is that how you say it i never heard of that test before this is how you, they taught us medical, med, medication dose calculations and medical assisting. Yes, medical, yes. Yep, yep. Okay, so let's do number two. Yeah, let's go. So we're going to do 250 milliliters, okay? And we want to go to liters. So milliliters here must go here. And what we want to end up ends here, okay? So now, when I see the M, I think of a 1,000 milliliters into one liter. Milliliters cancel. I am dividing this by a 1,000. This cancels. 25 divided by 100. We have an imaginary decimal right here. Move it over two spots. So it is, if you said C, right on. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So now you're going to have some where you have to enter the numerical value only. Okay. You will have some of these. It's not going to all be um, multiple choice. So it says convert the metric equivalent. 500 milligrams equals X grams. Ooh, no. chocolate said number three is 0.5. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to start with 500 milligrams. Okay. They want, if I write milligrams up here, I must write it down here. Now they want me to go to grams. So I put G right here. Okay. Now M, thousand and one gram. Okay. So now we're going to do 500 divided by a thousand. This zero cancels. This zero cancels. Five divided by 10. It's half of 10. So it's 0 0.5 grams. And my teacher was a stickler on units, especially in chemistry. So, yep, perfect, perfect. 0 0.5. But they said only. Only the numerical. So don't put the letter there. Yep, numerical value only. So perfect. Good, good, good. Helps if you read directions. Okay. Great, you guys. Okay, let's go to some more actual, like you could see this on your test. Okay. So it says, how many liters are in 300 milliliters? 
Okay. I know we're doing this. So you're on there. Is it A, B, C, or D? You guys put it in the chat. What do you guys get? Sue said B. B, good. Okay. Mari said point three B, B, B. Ooh, we are on there. Okay, let's see. So we have 300 milliliters. Okay. We have milliliters right here. Okay, you can sit down. How many liters? So we're going to put liters right here. Yeah, yes. Do you say hi? Hi. Yes, perfect. No, you can't write. Mommy's going to write, okay? Not on that one. So we have a thousand milliliters to one liter. This cancels. And we get 300 over a thousand. Okay. And we're going to cancel out these zeros. Okay. Sounds good. And we're going to move it over one because we have one. Okay. That's fine. Yep. You want me to get you a highlighter? Okay. Here you go. You can, are you going to be writing? Write me, write me your letters. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> that's my that's my son. All the mamas, if you know you got if you got a, a son that just loves his mama, you know, okay? So, let me see. 2 is 8.5. Okay. So, what did you move over? Oh, we moved. So, every whole number has an imaginary decimal after it. Any whole whole number you have, so like three, there's always or four, there's always an there's always a decimal after it. They just don't put it. So when you're dividing by ten, you're moving the decimal over. So that's why it goes over three, goes to point three when you divide by ten. Great question. Okay, so it's good. More said like money. Yes. Yes, perfect. Yes. Mm, I didn't even think about it like that. Convert the metric equivalent. 8,500 grams equals X kilogram. Okay. So 8,500 grams equals X kilograms. All right. So we're going to do, we're going to start with the given. 8,500 grams. Okay. I know I'm putting grams down here and I'm putting kilograms right here. I got one kilo to a thousand grams. Then we multiply across. So we have 8,500 divided by a thousand. I can cancel out these zeros. Now, so I'm looking at this as 85. But remember, after every whole number, there's a decimal. Yeah, because this goes back to place value. Okay. So then you would move it over once. Because we're dividing, so we move it to the left. So our answer is going to be 8.5. And it says numerical value. Our answer is going to be 8.5. And it says numerical value only. So don't put those units. Good. Tomorrow I'm going to be on doing GED math. And um, we're going to be covering, well, we're just going to be doing GED math. So my regular GED people, I will be on live tomorrow doing GED math, okay? Yes, you can get it, Claire. Clear. Don't say you can never get it. I'm telling you, it just takes that right person to break it down in your brain, okay? And I might not be that person. That's okay. But you just got to just keep on going. Don't give up. I'm telling you. Sometimes it's just our brain doesn't click at the right, you know, at that time. You know, I never want to give a time when I'm going live because I tell you, as soon as I say, then something happens. But I'm supposed to go live at five tomorrow. Okay. So I can tell you a roundabout time. Yeah. You just need a good, good tutor or teacher that can break it down for you the way your brain works. Okay. All right. Let's do this last one, okay? How many milliliters are contained in three are contained in three tablespoons of fluid? Okay. Now, this is not going to be on your test. 
Okay, but you see how I had to do this because, okay. So we're going to start with what's given, three tablespoons. So three tablespoons, okay. And then we want milliliters. So we want tablespoons to cancel out, okay. And then we're going to have milliliters on top. And go back to that dosage. If you give your kids, you're going to give them either a spoonful, right? A tablespoon is a spoonful or 15 milliliters if you're looking at that little cup. Okay? Try to have this in your brain, okay? Look at this, like 15 milliliters. So this is like, well, this is only for 4 to 12-year-olds, okay? So try to picture that. 15 milliliters equals one tablespoon. And then these cancel. Okay, three fifteens. Uniquely said 45. That's right. 45. And only put that in. Don't put the units. Okay. Okay, gas said I take 60 milliliters of lean. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. So then you take two big um two big tablespoons a spoons two spoons good i'm glad you get that one clear clear good good okay let's how many let me see i i wanted to do some like word word problems um you will have time on there as well which is uh, then I got my sixth grade middle school math. Middle school math, I'll do Thursday. Okay, because uh, I have been getting some requests. So let's go to um, let's go to time real quick, okay? Because I do want to do some time, military time. Um, so it says convert the following times to military time, computer time. Okay, so we have eight o two a.m. LVN starting BSN and I need to take the HESI test. So this is very helpful. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. So military time. Does anybody know like military time? Like one o'clock is equal to what? Do you guys know that? No, don't be out. <laughs> Good. So somebody says 0802. Yes, I do have a um, YouTube page and I post these on my YouTube page. So 1300, 1300, exactly. So that's, so AM, like you guys said, it would just be 0802. It starts to get a little funny when you get into the PM, but the AMs is straightforward because what, what military time is hours, it's um 24 hours. So... Like, so what I mean by that is when, like, once you get to, tw so 12 p.m. is 12 p.m., okay? Then when you, when we think of 1 p.m., that's 13, because we're thinking about hours. So 2 p.m. is 14 hours. So hopefully I'm making sense. Am I making sense, you guys? Good. So number two, what is 1057 p.m. Ooh, so you said 2257, 2257. Good. Okay. I'm glad I'm making sense. Good. So because we're almost done with our full day. So this is like, cause it, remember it goes back to 12 a.m. So this is two hours away from 24 hours. So this is how my brain looks at it. Okay, I'm two hours away, so that would be 2257. Okay, that would be 2257. And then you could just re literally write them out 3 p.m. equals 15. For, you know, and just write them all out, and then you don't have, you could just look at it real quick. You don't have to be guessing, okay? So 6.45 p.m., what is that going to be? Thank you for the follow. Oh, how to follow? It's on my profile. So you can follow that on my YouTube. 1845, 1845. I love it. Yes. 1845 is military time. So here we have 4 p.m. equals 16. 
5 p.m. equals 17. 8 p.m. equals 18. And then 9 p.m. equals 19. 10. Wait, what am I doing? 1, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is 20. So I don't think this one, this is not 22, you guys. 20, 11 is 21. And then, nah, I'm tripping. Am I tripping right now? 12, it's late, y'all. Oh, sick. Okay, 12 is... Isn't it 24? And then you go to 1. Did I forget 6 p.m.? Oh, thank you. Because I'm like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> hey, this is what's happening when you grade a 1,000 finals. You guys, I had grades due yesterday. Oh, let me tell you. I was grading till like midnight. I had my coffee, getting grading these finals. Oh, yeah, this is what happens. Good. Okay, so six goes with 18. Eight, nine. Am I just tripping? So one. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to just four, five, six, seven. I forgot seven. I'm just like all over the place. Okay, but hopefully you guys, I didn't confuse you guys too much. Hopefully you guys get the idea. Okay, nine. 10. Oh, I got to get off. I'm just, I'm going crazy right now. You did it? Okay. So let's finish out with this. <laughs> Blue said, laugh it out loud. I know I'm killing myself right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the last one, when you see this AM, perfect. Add a zero in front of it. And it is 330 like this. So you do, whew, you do 0330. Three, zero, okay. This is the exact time it is. Just add a zero in front of it. And that's, you guys. Yes, I did. I saw seven right here. I'm a hot mess. I'm about to get out and end. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be doing GED. And thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. <laughs> Oh, thank you, more. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Good night, you guys. Five o'clock tomorrow, Central Time. The next HESI I usually do on um, Mondays or Tuesdays. Okay. All righty. Bye. Hey, baby.